In this video, I'll be showing you how to beat all of the expunge missions fast, getting you all of the respective seasonal challenges. Now, I am by no means a speedrunner. This video is just a compilation of all the things I've learned while trying the seasonal challenges for myself, meaning there won't be extremely detailed breakdowns like Warlock skate off of this platform here at a 45 degree angle, wait 0.3 seconds and hold D at exactly the right time to bounce off of the wall and gain 20% more speed- no. No, this is a guide meant for all players, not speedrun professionals, that could probably do it faster than me anyway. Cool? Let's begin. So I quickly want to go over some of the movement techs that could be useful to speedrun these expunges. If you already have a good idea of the basics for speedrunning, feel free to skip to the time on screen. I'll start off with Warlock, as it is technically the fastest and a go-to for most speedrunners. If you're using this class, you absolutely want to be using Top Tree Dawnblade. Icarus Dash is just incredibly useful, but I've said that way too many times already. The movement techs are as follows. Number 1. Jump, Glide, then immediately Icarus Dash. This can be chained together twice to gain even more speed. Once you've used both the dashes, if there's still distance left, keep bunny hopping off of the ground to conserve as much momentum as possible. Number 2. Jump, Sword Swing, Glide, and do two Icarus Dashes. This is much quicker than the previous tech, and it's used for traversing much smaller areas quickly due to its little burst of speed. Just be careful not to architect yourself. I've done that plenty of times. Number three, activate Heat Rises, pop your super, and do the first tech again, but in midair. This works really well for specific sections. Have on transversive steps as well, so you can move faster while your dashes are recharging. Hunters, my personal favourite class for speedruns. If you can world line skate, use stasis with shatter dive. Otherwise, use top tree void for some more movement speed. For those of you that don't know how to world line skate, I'll explain it briefly. Sprint around to get the world line buff, then heavy attack off of a ledge and press shatter dive and jump at the exact same time. The more perfectly you can time this, the faster and further you'll go. Other than that, just use stompies and you should be good. Now Titans probably have the least movement options available to them. Titan flying is always an option, but it's generally a lot slower than other techniques like world line skating and heat rises. Titans also have cryoclasm slides, but that got nerfed for PvP, so maybe use middle tree arc with dune marches instead. It's worth noting that none of these techs just mentioned are required to beat these missions in the given time. Practicing them just gives you a bit more time to play with. The expunge intro sequence. If you have the wire walker upgrade for the splicer gauntlet, just interact with the terminal here to skip this whole section. If you don't, like me because I'm lazy, I'll explain what to do now. Immediately after loading in, run straight to the door. If you're fast enough here and dropping down into the pit, you can make a good cycle and get through the next door quickly. If you're too slow, you'll have to wait and lose about 5 seconds. Drop down a few times, making sure you don't get crushed by the moving cubes, because dying is bad. Fun fact, this section with the doors, if you wait for the first one and have some, some sort of speed buff like an exotic or lightweight weapon, you can get through all three at once. I usually just slide to the last one, just in case. At this white corridor, take the first path on the left down, and then turn right to get into the very long corridor. There is a death barrier here, so be careful not to get hit. Jump down here, landing on this cube here, and dropping down to the bottom. This is so that the cubes don't throw off your jump, as that's very frustrating. The number of times a random shape has killed me in this section is absolutely ridiculous. Then make your way down to the corridor and reach the exit portal. You can see from the gameplay that I did some fancy world line skates at the end here. T totally didn't cut out the countless failed attempts at it, don't worry. Expunge Labyrinth, the hardest one probably. Firstly, jump down to the first platform and use your momentum from the slide after it to launch towards the next platform. Crouch and jump to the third platform, and be sure to always shoot these vex things because they can trigger certain events within the mission that let you progress. Go through the cannon and then down the hole on the very left. This seems to be the quickest one. Slide down and be sure to swing into the cannon or you will fall to your death. After getting to this section here, completely ignore the hobgoblins and get to the second platform. Hunters can then world line skate to the other side, and warlocks can just make sure they use movement tech 1 as discussed previously to cross the area quickly. Jump around the platforms to this area with the minotaur, kill the minotaur, and shoot the vex thing, otherwise the harpy in the next area will not spawn and you'll lose lots of time trying to get back to the previous section. Go through the launch cannons, progress through the next few areas, and reach this long section with the detainment harpies. If you have a sword at this section, jumping and blocking can prevent you from getting trapped. Shortly after this, you can either skate or fly over to this platform and jump down, or go down normally. 
Now the fastest strategy for the boss is to use a combination of Fallen Guillotine or Lament, a Grenade Launcher with the Artifact Mod Breach and Clear, and a high damage super. That means Chaos Reach or Nova Bomb on Warlock, and Falling Star Thunder Crash on Titan. Hunters should be on top tree void for the whole mission, so you can use their tether instead of a grenade launcher. Damage the boss, kill the harpies, deposit the orbs, and kill the boss. Lament works amazingly for this as the boss is on the ground. After a bit of practice, this mission is definitely doable in under 10 minutes. Expunge Sticks I always get this one confused with Tartarus for some reason. Now my biggest tip for this one is just to ignore all of the enemies except the hobgoblins. Those things can really mess you up. Carry the first ball straight over the laser wall and deposit it. You don't need the checkpoint for this one. Similarly, carry the next ball over the laser wall if you have stompies, otherwise go around. It's worth noting that the ball actually gains time on the buff for standing in the checkpoint. You don't have to wait for it to respawn. After taking the ball to the boss arena, go left and use the cannon if you have the upgrade. Believe me, the upgrades make this 100 times easier. Take it from someone that used none of them when I personally got all these challenges done. After making your way up to the top of the area, kill the enemies as quickly as possible as they will then spawn the harpy that brings down the barrier for the ball. Then use either the cannon or make your way back normally, but be sure to hit this checkpoint here instead of going for the checkpoint on the far side. It's not worth it. After dunking this ball, head on over to the other side and go through the lasers. Again, if you have the respective upgrade for this, then this will be much easier. The lasers can be a bit frustrating, but it doesn't really matter as you won't really lose much time. Next, head on over to the platform with the final orb, but make sure to trigger all the detainment harpy cubes before getting there, as they can trap you when you have the orb and potentially lose you a lot of time. Same deal with the enemies on this side, clear the adds and kill the harpy that spawns. You don't have to kill the cyclopses, cy cyclopi, something like that, or for that matter the champion below. Take the ball through the area, and then through the laser maze, deposit it, and then begin the boss fight. Now you'll soon see why I use Xenophage for this mission. Much like the previous boss, you can get a grenade launcher to debuff the boss, and then spam Xenophage right into its face. With this strategy, the boss will go down in just over a minute. Only use DPS supers on Hunter with Golden Gun, because a Titan Thunder Crash will get you trapped inside the box with an Invincible Cyclops which just isn't fun. Alternatively to a Xenophage, if you maybe don't have any of the DLCs, you could use a Wither Horde or another grenade launcher combined with a linear fusion rifle such as Sleeper Simulant or Threaded Needle to also melt the boss. Trust me, linear fusion rifles are actually really good these days, especially when combined with Breach and Clear. Expunge Tartarus now this one is definitely the easiest. Not only is there a really easy cheat strategy for this, but it's also a really quick mission if you know the spawns for the cubes. After descending into the area, either use the cannon to your left to skip the first bit, or hack the conflux and shoot the cube above you and the one below the platform with the conflux to proceed to the next area. You've also got two options here, either go for the cheese or don't. Personally, I go for the cheese whenever I'm doing runs to farm solstice keys, but doing it legitimately is almost as fast anyway, not to mention much easier. To do the cheese, jump onto this structure here and then onto this cube above. Then just jump up the remaining shapes and get over the wall. Once over the wall, you can run straight to the boss. Alternatively, if that's too complicated, you can get the buff and shoot the cube on the far side, then head towards the left side and shoot the cube overhead before taking out the one in the middle. The next room is the most complex, so memorising the cube locations for this is very useful. Shoot the first cube initially, and then jump to the right side. Shoot the cube at the bottom right, and then the one behind the pillar. The last two are completely on opposite sides of the arena, but you can just about hit the first one from this platform, and then the other one is just behind you. For the next section, completely ignore the champion and use the grenade launcher to take out the minotaurs before leaving the conflux. Then shoot the cubes and proceed to the next room normally. If you want to, you can kill the second champion here, but I just left mine personally. Boss fight time. Use a grenade launcher to weaken the boss and then proceed to delete him with two shots of sleeper simulant. Shoot the cubes and repeat. Kill the minotaur, shoot the cubes, and then repeat again, and the boss is dead. As I said, definitely the easiest one. Expunge Delphi. I don't believe this one has a speedrun challenge, but in case it does, use the, all the tips from the previous missions to help you. As for the boss, DPS with Anarchy or something, I don't know. So that was how to speedrun all three expunge missions. Now, as with anything in this game, you'll likely not get this first try. Practice a bit, maybe go get some of the upgrades and try again. This isn't that difficult once you get used to it. If you did find this video helpful, you know, you, you could maybe give the video a like and possibly subscribe. Um. 
I do some very questionable stuff in this game sometimes, which may or may not be interesting. But anyways, I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.